Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a dragonfly box. I have dragonflies that join me in my garden every year and damselflies. My house is built over what used to be a carp pond, so my house is on stilts, albeit the stilts are underground and you wouldn't nev never know they were there. But uh, dragonflies and damselflies return, and frogs, return to their original home year after year after year and they have their babies there year after year after year and so they just keep coming back so we, although there's no water um we've got nothing i've got a little fountain but we don't have water here the dragonflies come back every year so do the damselflies and that is why i have made this project today so this is polished pink over blushing bride and i'm going to do a version which is um gorgeous grape over the new fresh freesia i normally put this over highland heather but i wanted this sort of slightly pinkier purple to see what would happen okay piece of cardstock 10 and a half inches by seven and a half inches which is 27 and a half centimeters by 19 and a half centimeters on the long side score it at two and a half five seven and a half and ten which in metric is six and a half, 13, 19 and a half, 26. And on the short side, score it again at two and a half and five, which is six and a half and 13. So it's a two and a half inch cube box, two and a half by two and a half by two and a half, six and a half by six and a half by six and a half centimeters. Okay, so now before I burnish anything, I wanna get some stamping going on. So which one did I use last time? I used that one last time, so I'm going to use this one this time. Or should I lane swerve completely and put those ones in? I don't know. Do we think? Oh, yes. Oh, I changed my mind. <laughs> Does anybody else do that while they're crafting? Have a complete change of heart. So <laughs> that would be me today. Why not? Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, I didn't press hard enough. Oh, well, we'll make that the back. Do we think we could get some round a corner or does it look quite cool while they're flowing like that? I like that. I'm just going to leave it like that. But yes, these obviously the dragonfly stamps will fit without any issue. You can see because I've done them there. I quite like that. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry when I change my crafting with no notice to myself. OK, let's burn it up. Just burnish all of the score lines. This is such an easy box to put together. OK, so that's the top because these ones are the right way round. So I'm going to cut at the bottom and mitre a little bit and then just cut straight up here. OK. And I want to take a little bit away so it's every other one that will become the side so that was not a good one so I'm just going to trim away there and trim away there oops and that just means when it all comes to close together like so we're not going to have loads of bulky overlap and then that will become the front because that messy one's at the side okay and then turn it around and repeat the same and wedge well you know chop that bit away the same as down here so we're just creating a nice mirror image So that was the one I chopped. So I'm going to chop that one and that one. And what you're left with is that shape. Okay, so I've hacked out bits there and there. So I'm going to run some adhesive here 
and on this one I've got my brand new roll. I finally finished a roll of of tear and tape. It feels like that stuff lasts forever, doesn't it? Love it. So I'm going to take that backing off. And then fold in those two sides and the back. bring that round so I've got that nice one on the front and the same fold those two sides in and that one and that one but obviously we're not sticking it down Ooh, I need to trim a little just a tiny wedge off there like that so I'm going to tie this up with ribbon now so this is sheer ribbon and this is obviously is well, I did know. Um, gorgeous grape. I do feel it probably does look best over Highland Heather, but I rather like fresh freesia. I don't actually know what a freesia looks like, though. Might have to Google that. <laughs> genuinely have no idea i know what a fuchsia looks like so i've got that in my back garden um not doing awfully well but i don't know what a freesia looks like okay so trim off the tails okay and i want to walk that into this top corner a bit more there we go so that I've got room to put some dragonflies on so let's just hack a bit of that off and grab one of these so I'm going to go with that one just because it's there this on the original one what I'm going to do is take my wink of Stella and colour up those wings because dragonflies and damselflies for sure have beautiful iridescent wings and this is the closest I'm going to get to iridescent so I'm not going to go down the body. Do you see that? So pretty. So pretty. Okay. So I'm going to punch that out. And there's one. And I want two more. Three of them in total. And I'm going to bend my a dragonfly up and then the wings over a little bit so that it's that sort of a shape it's kind of like a W that sort of shape and then I'm just going to bend the wings of these little ones I've got some packaging paper on the floor behind me and the cats are playing hide and seek under it they're not on the desk that's all good <laughs> not on the desk it's a good thing right so i'm going to get some mini glue dots down the body of the dragonfly and have that positioned there on this one i did actually put one on the top and then i layered a punched one over the top oh focus on me not on the stuff on my table there we go. There's one underneath it and I put it over the top, but you'd never know to be honest, so I haven't this time. And we'll have some little diddy ones too. Just scattered anywhere and everywhere. Up there. I 
rather like that with the different sides. Actually, I, do you know what? I prefer it. Oh, I prefer to my original. That's OK. I'm allowed to. I like them both. But yeah, I think I prefer this. Anyway, <laughs> which do you like? Purple or pink? Let me know. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.